Hello everyone. In this film I'm going to be demonstrating male makeup to you. I'm not going to be doing this look on myself however. I have the very handsome Peter in today and I'm just going to show you a, a very basic look. I think there's a common misconception about male makeup that it's, you know, it's a full-on makeup. It can be as full-on as you want it to be. But I think for day-to-day, -day, that's not necessary at all. I find a lot when I'm working as well, the models, and the male models will often say to me, you know, how do I clean my skin and how do I prep it? How do I cover under eye circles or how do I cover a blemish? I think these are the main skin complaints that you hear from most men. I've deliberately not used any brushes. Well, I used one brush in this tutorial today, but I specifically tried to avoid using anything. I used just my fingers to begin with. To really summarize things up, regardless if you're a man or a woman or whatever, before you wear makeup, you should be, you should have a skincare routine anyway. I think that's vital regardless of your um, anything. I think it's so important to look after your skin um, if you're wearing makeup or if you're not, regardless of gender. I think the two main factors I think that are important with any skin is um, cleaning it and protecting it. And when I say protecting it, I'm meaning protecting it from the sun. It's very important that you use an SPF every day. Um, obviously if you're a male model or a female model or, or in a situation where there's flash photography then I would suggest avoiding using the SPF because it will give flashback but for day to day definitely definitely go for an SPF to protect your skin from the UVA and the UVB rays from the sun. I recommend using something that's either a factor 40 at the lowest up to well I personally wear a factor 110 <laughs> but um, that's not necessary for everybody. I think something like an SPF 50 or an SPF 70 will do the job. I hope that you find this helpful, interesting and enjoyable to watch. Once again, thank you for watching. I began by liberally applying a La Roche-Posay cleanser into the skin. And as you can see, I'm massaging that into the skin thoroughly. It's important that you don't miss any areas. Then take two damp sponges and remove all of the cleanser that you have applied. Cleansing the skin in this fashion removes dead skin, dirt and grime. You will be able to feel a noticeable difference in your skin after cleansing as it completely freshens up the skin. Pat dry with a clean towel. Then go in with a second coat of cleanser and really massage that into the skin and remove it again with the sponges. It is important that you cleanse your skin twice as the first time removes all the oils and the second time actually cleanses your skin. Pat dry with a clean towel. And then going in with this La Roche-Posay SPF 50, this will act as our moisturiser and our primer. I think it's important not to load a primer, a moisturiser and an SPF all onto the skin at once, but just using one product that does all three will still allow the skin to be able to breathe. And really massage that into the skin. I'm then taking the salmon colour from my Supercover corrector wheel and I'm patting that with my index finger underneath Peter's eyes. I'm being very careful, making sure I don't apply too much product and making sure that the under eye discoloration has vanished. Clinique, Bobbi Brown, MAC Cosmetics and numerous other brands also do colour correctors that are suitable for correcting under eye discoloration. I'm then taking Estee Lauder's Double Wear Maximum Cover Foundation and I'm applying that as a concealer to any areas of redness or any areas that we want to conceal slightly. And I'm patting that very delicately, only tiny, tiny layers and in small amounts so that we don't create a synthetic, synthetic look to the skin as we want it to still look natural but also polished. Removing too many of the flaws within a male face can also create a very artificial synthetic look, not suitable for every day, unless of course that is the desired look. 
I'm then just taking a disposable wand and I'm brushing the brows up. I am now trimming with a pair of scissors any of the unwanted hairs, just to keep the eyebrows slightly tamer. It is also important as a male to remove your monobrow. This creates a far cleaner, neater and sharper look. And then completing the other eyebrow in the same fashion. I'm then just taking this matte bronzer. It is important that you use a matte bronzer, especially on a male face. And I'm using it on a kabuki brush. Very lightly applying a very little amount just round the face. On the high points and the, within the contours. Just to bring slight colour into the face. Then take some Vaseline on a cotton bud, also known as a Q-tip, and roll and push that into the lips. This will remove any dry or dead skin on the lips and is also slightly moisturising and really roll and push it into the lips. You may not have to do this step very often, only if necessary. As you can see, it leaves the lips looking far fresher. Then I am applying Soap and Glory's Lip Plumper. Lip Plumper has a slight shine to it. It is quite moisturising to the lips. You could also use something like Elizabeth Arden's 8 Hour Cream or Carmex. and then blot to the side of a tissue just to take away any artificial shine, if need be. Then I'm using these QVS eyelash curlers. This is a vital step in any makeup as it opens up the eyes completely. This creates a far more awake, open-eyed look. This more or less completes the look. I was pleased with the end result. It's really simple and easy to do. And it's just a general polishing. And as you can see, it still looks very natural. It is easy to apply and it is also easy to remove. Taking your cleanser and just massage that into the skin. And repeating the same process with the damp sponges. and repeat this cycle twice in order to remove all makeup from the skin. It is very important to remove your makeup at the end of the day or before you sleep. It is not wise to allow makeup to sit in your pores longer than it should be, as you do not want to clog your pores, as this can have negative effects on your skin and hygiene. And then just apply a liberal coat of moisturiser when you have completed this process. I hope that you have found this helpful, interesting and insightful. And once again, thank you so much for watching. And of course, take care of yourself. Bye.